welcome to another lesson. If it's your first time here, my name's Nikki and I like to teach real English that you can use in everyday conversations. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, then make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So today we'll be learning some gossip idioms. Now, we all know that we shouldn't really gossip, but sometimes the secret is just so good you have to share it. So I'm giving you some nice phrases that you can use for sharing secrets and gossiping. Now, if you are the kind of person that likes to see things written down, all of these phrases are on my website. So once you've finished watching this video, you can see the phrases there. I'll leave them just below the video. Okay, so our first two phrases, we've got guess what and you didn't hear it from me. So guess what is a great one for introducing gossip. You say, oh, guess what? And then you leave a little pause, but don't actually let the other person guess. And then you tell them the gossip. And you didn't hear it from me means don't tell anyone that I told you this. Okay, so let's have a look at those two phrases in context. Guess what? Tony's been fired and we're getting a new manager next month. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? Okay, so you can see the person introduces the gossip with guess what? And then at the end says, you didn't hear it from me. The next two phrases, we've got dish the dirt and juicy details. And both of those mean, tell me exactly what happened. I want all the information about this story. So let's have a look at an example in context. Come on then, dish the dirt. How was your date last night? Mm -mm, I'm not saying anything. Oh, go on. I want all the juicy details. Okay, so you can see that that person's asking you to tell them everything about your date. What happened? What was he like? Tell me all of the juicy details. The next phrase is, I heard on the grapevine that... Okay, and we're using this one to say, I don't want to tell you who told me, but people are gossiping about this. Maybe everybody in the office is talking about it or all your friends are talking about it. So, for example, I heard on the grapevine that Ben is having an affair with Carla. <gasps> Seriously, do you think it's true? Okay, so you're not going to say who told you, just you heard on the grapevine people are talking about it. And actually there's a really great song by Marvin Gaye called I Heard It On The Grapevine. So check that one out if you want to do a bit of English listening and singing practice because that's a great way to improve your English skills. Okay, the next two phrases we've got keep it to yourself and find out. So keep it to yourself means don't tell anybody. And find out is a great phrasal verb to use with secrets and gossip, like discover, find out a secret, find out the gossip, okay? So let's have a look at an example in context. Zoe is moving to Australia next month. <gasps> really? Yeah, but keep it to yourself. She doesn't want her mum to find out yet. Okay, so keep it to yourself. Don't tell anyone. She doesn't want her mum to find out yet. She doesn't want her mum to discover this news yet. So some great natural phrases. Okay, the next one is, I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. And that means that you heard this piece of gossip or this secret or information directly from the source. So, for example, Tina's going to divorce her husband. What? That can't be true. It is. I heard it straight from the horse's mouth, which means that Tina herself told you. So you know that it must be true. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Okay, the next one is another nice word to introduce gossip, and it's apparently. And when we use apparently, that means we're not 100% sure, but this is what we've heard. And you need to have this kind of intonation. Apparently, okay, so watch my body language as well and my intonation, how my voice moves. Apparently, okay, and when we use that intonation, we're showing we don't know this for a fact, but it's what we've heard. And then we've got, my lips are sealed, which means, mm, I won't tell anybody. So for example, apparently, management are planning to make 10 people redundant this month. But don't say anything, okay? The other person says, my lips are sealed. Okay, so that's what you've heard, and the other person promises not to say anything. Okay, you're doing so well. We've only got four more to go, so stay with me and then you're going to have a really nice set of phrases. And when you have got them all, I'd love it if you let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. Okay, so let's do the last four. 
we've got a little bird told me and let me guess. This is a funny little one and it basically just means I'm not going to tell you who told me this, but it's not a big secret and it doesn't really matter. So for example, a little bird told me it's your birthday today and you would say, let me guess, my mum? Okay, so does that make sense? You're just saying a little bird told me instead of your mum told me. But it's generally not a big important secret or piece of gossip. And finally, we've got I heard and it's just a rumour. So again, I heard is a nice way to introduce gossip or a secret. And it's just a rumour means mm -mm, that's not true. That's just a rumour. That's what people are saying, but it's not true, I'm sure. Let's have a look at this example. I heard that Graham is being sued for tax fraud. Yeah, I heard that too, but it's just a rumour, I'm sure. Hmm, let's wait and see. Okay, so that's a really nice natural conversation for talking about the gossip you've heard and whether you believe it or not. So there you go, a nice set of gossip idioms and phrases. So don't forget to let me know in the comments which one is your favourite, I'd really love to hear. Um, and also don't forget to check them on my website if you want to write them down to keep them in your English notebook, which you absolutely should do. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really feel honoured to help you improve your English and make sure that you go and check out some of the other videos on this channel. I've got lots for you to explore. I will see you in the next lesson.